Hey guys, it's Shino Heat here. How's everyone doing today? So, for today's video, we're going to be tackling the question of what are you actually fighting on the final boss fight of Halo 3? So, as you know, on the final mission of Halo 3, you seem to be doing the final boss fight against 343 Guilty Spark. And, you know, you would rightfully assume that you are simply just fighting the monitor and, you know, you gotta shoot him three times to blow him up. And that's it. You know, there's nothing else going on behind the scenes, behind the curtains. It's just the monitor that you gotta shoot with the Spartan laser three times. And, you know, that seems like the obvious choice. That's not too surprising. But that's actually not entirely the case. There is actually something else going on under the hood, almost literally, so to speak. So, Recently, when I was doing some experiments with uh, fighting Guilty Spark using cheat codes in Halo 3, because, you know, there are official cheat codes now, uh, I was trying to see what happens if I use the Medusa cheat and the one-shot kill cheat. One-shot kill, as you know, just kills any AI or character one shot, and then Medusa makes it so that any enemy that becomes aware of you dies instantly. But neither of those cheats had any effect on Guilty Spark during the boss fight. One-shot kill just didn't do anything to them at all, even though like other invincible characters and vehicles in the game, one-shot kill effects. But that didn't do anything, and neither did Medusa, even though obviously that AI is aware of me. So I tried something else to get rid of Guilty Spark early. So I used the cheat, uh, remove all AI, and that cheat does exactly what it sounds like it does, which is it just deletes all the AI in the area. So when I use it, you can see that it worked there. Johnson was removed, and it seems like Guilty Spark was removed as well. But, he was not. And, in fact, only his, like, fake outer shell biped, so to speak, was removed. But the real Guilty Spark, the real boss you're fighting, is still there. And it still pushes you around and still does all the same actions and everything. You know, when Johnson's supposed to shoot it, it still gets flung all the way over there, and it's still solid if I shoot it. It doesn't do anything if I shoot it, even with the one-shot kill cheat enabled. Uh, and if I approach the console here, it will still fly over and keep me away. It will do everything that Guilty Spark does, except for shoot me with a beam. And that's uh, it, that's basically what this boss actually is. And if you look closely, it's not invisible or anything. There's a little tiny sphere in the middle of all that. And if you get an even closer look, it's like one of those uh, Da Vinci Code Easter egg uh, kind of spheres with that kind of texture. Uh, I'll do a video actually eventually clarifying what that texture actually is. But one interesting, th one interesting thing about it is if you have the one-shot kill cheat enabled and you shoot with a rocket, that one-shot kill cheat kind of comes back to you and kills you instantly. It's kind of weird. I'm not sure why it does that. Uh, but anyways, that sphere... I don't know, it was kind of hard to see there, but you can actually see it without modding or anything. You can do it right in theater mode uh, on any version of Halo 3. Just damage Guilty Spark a couple times, like two times, or even three times maybe, might be easier. And then just fly up close in the free camera in theater mode, and then zoom in on the center of Guilty Spark. You can see there's, uh, there's one big sphere there, and then one tiny sphere just above. The big sphere is the actual boss that we're fighting. And I've actually covered this uh, briefly in a video about these two spheres, but at the time I didn't fully know the purpose. But I did know that the one of the spheres controls the gravity wave, and I, I theorized that the smaller sphere probably controls the beam, which would make sense. And that's probably attached to the, the biped, the Guilty Spark biped in that case. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's the actual boss of the final boss of Halo 3, which is not actually Guilty Spark. That's just kind of like a fake outer shell to make you think you're fighting Guilty Spark when really you're fighting that little tiny Da Vinci Code sphere. And likewise, to prove that you are, that's why you're actually fighting, if you use the Spartan laser to shoot it, the whole three shots thing still applies to it exactly as it would with Guilty Spark. Meaning when you're fighting Guilty Spark and using laser, you're not actually shooting Guilty Spark to kill him. You are shooting through him to damage that little uh, Da Vinci Code sphere in the middle. And that is what you are actually killing. And once you do destroy three times and the mission proceeds as normal, it doesn't matter that uh, Guilty Spark itself, the, you know, the, the, the outer shell, the quote unquote character itself was deleted. It doesn't actually mess with the mission at all. The mission continues as normal. Because what you're actually fighting is, I believe in the game files, it's just a like a device or like a machine. It's not an actual biped. It's not a character. It's not anything like that. It's just a scripted machine. Scripted device machine that is just simply scripted to attack, to fire the beam at wherever player one is. Whoever's, 
whoever's player one, no matter if you're active camo or... I, I even used to cheat here to make it so that I'm invisible to all AIs. But we're not actually fighting an AI, we're fighting like a pre-programmed, scripted machine that just shoots wherever I am. No matter like, no matter how well I'm hidden, even with cheat codes. So, there you guys have it. That is what the actual boss of Halo 3 is. It's not real. it's technically not 343 Coyote's part. It is, in fact, technically a tiny little sphere that uh, that's just a simple machine in the game as far as the game files are concerned. So yeah, hopefully you guys found this video to be interesting, and if you did enjoy it, then as always, make sure to leave a like. I'll leave thoughts in the comments. Anything else you check out our link into, or you know, explore, just let me know in the comments down below. But aside from that, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you all next time. Bye guys.